EA Sports. It's in the game. Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this matchup between the New York Giants and the San Francisco 49ers. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. And you just have to love these types of games because there's just so much bad blood. There's such a deep rivalry here. The spirit is intense, and these teams will do anything to beat the other team. Well, when you talk about the Giants and 49ers playing, it seems like for so many years, every one of those games was always in the national spotlight, Jim. And, and we're talking about two storied franchises that have won multiple Super Bowls. So when they get together, even this year, both teams playing extremely well. It's going to be fun to watch. When you would play in this game and attach it to what it's going to be. Hey, what's up, guys? Tony here. And welcome to the demo of Madden 13. Football season is almost here. And as I'm recording this, today is the 25th. The game comes out on the 28th, so we got a couple of days before the game drops. Uh, and I can start my my next superstar mode. And uh, and it's nice to have football back. It really is. Uh, it's busier at work, you know. It's nice to listen to the game. And uh, and it's, it's one of those things where, like, I love the Padres. Don't get me wrong, I love the Padres. But I love football, too, so... Um, it's nice to have multiple sports going on at the same time so you could, you know, talk about the intensity of, you know, the week-by-week -week struggle of football while still having, you know, the long-term, you know, baseball in the background. I, wouldn't, I shouldn't say the background, but you, you know what I mean. Like, if you're talking about something really intense and, and you've got this calmer thing going on in the background, that's kind of how I envision it, you know. But by background, I don't mean, like, background like I'm not paying attention to it so I don't want anyone to get, freak out anyways um, what I want to say is I want to do like a quick my opinions about the demo and um, I'm not going to talk about the expectations my expectations for the game are this um, what you are going to watch though is me on offense because I'm terrible on defense and instead of like posting a 30 minute gameplay and trying to find stuff to talk about for 30 minutes I'm just going to post a 18 minute gameplay <laughs> find things to talk about for 15 minutes or so because I um, and you guys notice I had that two and almost a three minute intro of the cinematics and the one thing I really do like about games now especially this game I really like the way they're doing it in this game is they're they're making it more of a like a broadcast they're trying to make it more like you see it on TV which is fine I'm fine with that the one thing I don't like uh, if it cheapens the game for me is the, is the advertisements they have in here like they've got the Papa John's advertisements like the coin toss and um, the offensive and defensive players and then the other thing that they do is there's a Verizon ad in there somewhere I heard one it's just like what you know and it's things that you hear in, like in a game so it, like I said it's 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 they're they're trying to achieve this broadcast level 
Um, but it just seems like it cheapens the game. And you know those companies are paying for the spots in this game. So you think that, I don't know, the game might be not $60. You know, maybe some of these advertisements could offset the price of the disc. But you know what? Hey, that's, that's a fantasy world. That's never going to happen. EA or whoever developed this game. Um, is it EA, Ga EA Sports? That's a studio. I don't know who actually... I think it is... I don't know. That's one thing I just don't know. Anyway, so EA is going to suck in the money for the advertisements. They're probably the ones who get it. Anyways, but um, beyond that, the game actually looks really good. Uh, I heard that there's this, you know, real-time weather-changing aspect to the game. Um, there's going to be this new, um, like a throwing mechanic where you can throw to the shoulders of your receiver as a quarterback in high and low. And I'm really looking forward to that because that was one thing that I've constantly complained about uh, Madden games is that, <coughs> excuse me, is that when you throw to a receiver, you can't hit them in stride. You just sort of throw it and they'll stop. Um, and you won't throw like where a player will be. Um, you throw where they are now and they have to stop, catch the ball, and then continue to run. I want to see, I want to hit somebody in stride and, and have them continue on that path. That's, that's the sort of level of precision that I'm looking for. Um, the running in the game actually is a lot of fun. It's uh, I'm not much of a runner because I don't really play franchise mode. Ever since the, ever since I found you know Road to the Shows or the My Superstar modes, I've been playing those. I kind of prefer those more than franchise modes. I, I like the not only are they quick, but you get this sort of um, like a personal sense of the game. You know, you you you're invested in the game on a personal level. You had a character you want to build up and become a, a superstar and so it gives you something else to do besides just you know grind through a season play the next season grind through that season win a Super Bowl you know rinse and repeat so I like that so for those of you guys who are following me on Twitter last night I put out a tweet and I figured I'd do a, a video about it today is I am searching for a team now last season I put Scott McLean on the Chargers which you know, it was my first video uh, series about football, so my first Madden series that I put up on my channel, and I wanted to put, the, I wanted to definitely have the Chargers be a part of it. So what I want to know from you guys is, would you mind seeing the Chargers again, um, or would you prefer to see like another team? Because last time I selected the Chargers, I didn't get drafted, so I could get drafted, or what I could do. <clears throat> is I could pick a team and so some I had a couple of really good suggestions on Twitter um, the ones that uh, that I particularly like was the the Cardinals and the Jaguars was was that uh, were the two teams someone <laughs> fake thriller was like Pat go to the Patriots go to the Patriots you know like no way so I want to avoid teams that have good quarterbacks already and then um, it was uh Let's see here. True Tactics was was saying Steelers, and again, I was kind of like, well, they've got a good quarterback. I don't want to go replace a good quarterback. And that's the thing about San Diego. We got Philip Rivers, so we still have we got a good quarterback here. So I'd hate to replace you know like Rivers, make him be my backup, you know, to a to a guy who's gonna be oh there we go hit a guy in stride. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Those were so hard to do in the previous versions of Madden. At least for me. Maybe some of you guys are studs. So, anyways. In the comment se section, <clears throat> do me a favor and leave an idea for like a team to pick. So teams that I was kind of thinking about were like the Browns, the Jaguars were on there. Um, let's see here, Cardinals are another team. Maybe the Seahawks are a team that that need you know a good quarterback. Um, there's gonna be more, and off the top of my head, I'm totally blanking on it right now. I'm just I'm not like in that sports football mode. <laughs> right now, you know, it's still preseason. It's preseason for me, too. I'm warming up to this thing. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I want to change topics, though, because I've been wanting to do a commentary about uh, a situation with work and school that uh, I'd like to get your opinion on. And so the comment section is going to be quite diverse today. It's going to be football and personal stuff. So let me go ahead and, and start out that um, – <clears throat> let me start with the school stuff first. So this is, I mentioned in the Forza 4 video, this is my last semester. And so I need, I only need two classes to graduate, but I'm taking three. And so I'm only taking nine units this semester. But here's the thing, is I am taking this History 400 course as our, as our capstone. We all have to take a seminar before we're done. And 
it's I don't know I don't know the intensity I don't know the level of the intensity of the course I heard it I heard 400 level courses are, are fairly intense and they sort of gear this towards you know hey this is your last course um, some people don't take it as their last course but I am um, so they gear it towards when you're done here you're going to be a professional historian you're going to expect to do XYZ um, the other course I'm taking is Spanish 3 and I had a hell of a time with Spanish 2 and uh, and I'm expecting that I'm gonna have a hell of a time with Spanish 3 and the last course I'm taking is is a course it's the ancient Greece <coughs> course they have uh, a lot of we only have one ancient historian on staff at Cal State and so the guy teaches every year he'll teach uh, like a series so he'll teach Greece part one in the fall part two in the spring and the next fall he'll teach Rome one Rome two that's just the way it works because he's the only ancient historian on staff and so uh, I, I've taken two of his classes I really enjoy this guy a lot the, and so I, I'm taking and I and I when I registered for courses I was thinking oh I think I'm gonna get into ancient history I think I'm gonna do that and that might be my master's um, my master's uh, I'll go for my master's in ancient history and so I, I, so I'm in this ancient history class. It is purely an elective. I don't need to graduate. I have more than enough credits and everything. So it's a course that I could drop. So I'm sitting here thinking, like, should I drop that course and just concentrate on these two courses and really put my best effort in these last two courses, or should I keep myself occupied and take this Greece course? Because I really like ancient Greece. I like ancient Greece. Um, I like Roman history. Uh, so it's it's not it's not I'm taking I'm not taking it just because I have to you know I'm taking it because I really want to take the material learn the material learn the stories so I'm conflicted in that way and so now as of yesterday yeah as of yesterday another wrench has been thrown into this mix um, my buddy Nick called me and he told me that that um, one of his clients is looking for like a handyman at this furniture store and they need somebody to you know fix and repair furniture and um, like show furniture and just sort of be a, a general maintenance kind of a guy and it's gonna pay double actually what I'm making now and the hours though are double what I'm what I'm taking what I'm working right now which my weekends are pretty much you know I work 15 hours of the weekend which is not a lot because I mean some people you know they work full-time and here I am working 15 hours in three days but um, the thing is though is that uh, apparently there's a lot of flexibility in the job so I might be able to have those Friday nights Saturday nights and Sunday nights off instead of working you know 5 to 11 o'clock at night Friday Saturday Sunday flip side is though is that if um, if I do that that means that uh, I'm gonna work more damn near full-time and I'll be going to school part-time you know and so I got these two courses that I must I must pass to graduate I mean I do have you know and this is the thing is uh, you know I I don't like saying this because I'm I don't like to have it as like a, like a backup mercy plan. But I mean I do have the spring if I fail a class like I say if I fail fail Spanish three, you know, and I could take it again in the spring, uh, and that'd be the only class that I would take. You know, dedicate my entire semester to making sure that I pass Spanish. But I don't want to do that. I want to graduate in December. That's my goal. It's always been my goal, and I'm not putting it off. So that's why I'm kind of in this situation where I'm uh, unsure of this job because it offers potential to make a lot more money with a little bit more hours uh, actually double the hours and um, there's like I said there, there's courses this ancient Greece course that I, I'd like to take but it, I don't need it so I'm, I'm at this really strange uh, crossroads where uh, a decision needs to be made and I need to make the decision within the week I said not from say starting Monday, so I think I actually have two two weeks two weeks from Monday to make the decision about the course about the Greece course, um, but the job thing is one that I'm sort of up in the air about, you know, because I don't make a lot of money and it would be nice to make a little bit more money and uh, be a little bit more comfortable. So it's a tough decision because because uh, my time is going to be straight it all come it really all boils down to time you know like how much time do i have in the day and how much can i possibly adjust and the only thing i can think about right now is that i can uh i can call the guy i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna call the guy i'm not gonna like let this hang so i'm gonna call the guy but i'm gonna kind of wait for for you guys' opinions on this matter too but 
I'm going to call them and, and see maybe there's a way that I could work out maybe like a 20 to 25 hour work week instead of a 30 plus hour work week. Uh, and then maybe at the end of the semester in December, I'll be like, okay, I can pile on a full full time work because I won't have anything to do in the spring. And this course is all going on while I've got to study for my GRE test, <coughs> excuse me, my GRE, which I need to take and have, have taken and passed. Well, it's not passed. It's not pass fail. It's, it's a, it's a, uh, it's like an SAT. It's like a numerical value. So I have to get, I have to score like above a 500, which I'd have to look at the thing again. I don't know exactly what percentile that is, but I have to score high and get my master's application in by say, what does it do? November. So I got a lot on my plate. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out what, what's the best path to take. You know, it's all these mini uh, forks in the road and bends and stuff like that, that, that we all have to approach. And, and, uh, and I, I'm the kind of guy, I like to get a lot of opinions, a lot of varied opinions and just sort of feel out what, what might be the best option. And uh, going back to the gameplay right here, I, I was kind of milking this. I wanted to really destroy the Giants because I'm not that big of an Eli Manning fan. So those those of you guys who've been watching those previous Madden videos that I made, I am just totally not an Eli Manning fan. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna shove it down his throat right now. <laughs> I was totally pulling for the Patriots last year. It's like, come on, damn it, Eli Manning. People talk about him. It's like, oh, anyways, I don't want to get on that. But the last thing I guess I'll I'll mention briefly while I've got uh, a few minutes here is sports news. I don't. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention or not, you sports fans out there, but the Red Sox and the Dodgers made huge trade that finally went through, I guess today, a huge trade. Um, they are The Dodgers are picking up Adrian Gonzalez, uh, who is, I think, Nick Punto. Um, oh, God, I'm skipping on the pitcher's name right now. I'll find it in a minute. And uh, anyways, they but they're picking up like they're absorbing like 156 million dollars or something ridiculously expensive like that from the Red Sox, and the Red Sox are getting like James Loney and some other pitchers. Um, but it's just it's crazy. It's just like oh, jo uh, Josh Beckett. That's what it is. Josh Beckett's a pitcher. And it's just crazy because now it sucks because. Not only, okay, not only do I not like the Dodgers because it's the Dodgers, but now it's like I've got the Red Sox, or not the Red Sox, I've got the Giants and the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks, uh, three high-quality ball clubs. Now, the, the Diamondbacks have definitely fallen from grace from last season when they came out of nowhere, um, but the Giants and the Dodgers are definitely going to be a force to reckon with for a while. And the Padres this year are looking as if, due to our young talent, that we're going to be a force to reckon with next year and, and hopefully for the foreseeable future. Um, problem, though, is, man, they just spent, the Dodgers spent a lot of money. And I thought, it just, now I'm not going to say this is a slam dunk for them, but damn, man, they put a lot of money into that damn team. And um, it's, it's just big, big, big time news. So, anyways, guys, uh, that is the end of the game. I just destroyed just totally destroyed the Giants which which was nice for me I enjoyed it I really enjoyed you know doing that so this was on the rookie difficulty so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'll play on pro when I play uh, when I actually get the game so it can make it quite a quite a bit of a challenge for me so anyways guys thanks for watching uh, thanks for subscribing and I'll talk to you later